right now at Laser Way about to get some face treatment. Sorry for the fuzzy noise in the background. One of the machines is a little loud, but um, hopefully you guys can still hear me. Um, but basically today, what I'm going to get done is, I think it's called the Clear and Bright, and what they're going to do is they're going to laser on my face, and it's going to take away any lines, all the dead skin. It's also going to help some of the scars go away too. So I'm super excited to get this done. I'm only 26 years old, never had anything like this done to my face, so I'm really excited to see what this does. So it's been an hour since my appointment has finished and you can see my face is pretty darn red right now. Um, but it feels not too bad, uh, it feels really really silky actually, um, but it doesn't feel like painful at all, it's not tingly anymore, it was very tingly when she was doing it, um, it was more of an irritating pain than something very painful. Um, she did actually laser my finger tattoo, it's like the second session I've had on it and the laser they use for the tattoo removal is excruciating. It literally zapped for two seconds and I was like, oh my God, stop, like what the hell? So that sucks. Really, the face one doesn't really suck. It's called clear and bright. So I'm really excited to see how my face looks in a couple of days and I'll let you guys know. So it's been about 10 hours now since I had the treatment and my face is still looking kind of red. I mean, it's not too bad actually. I thought it'd be way more red than this, just as red as my hair, but nope it looks like this so what I'm gonna do now is put some hydration back in because the thing that I can feel is my skin feels really really tight and it feels really tight around my mouth so when I was eating earlier it did kind of hurt so um, I definitely want to put some more moisture into my skin so I'm gonna be using the Dermalogica cleansing gel because this really does soothe the face I use this every single day it's one of my favorite cleansers ever but basically it has like calming balm mint and lavender extracts to soothe the skin with just natural, gentle 
um, foams, you know, that take away all the toxins and just the bad stuff in your skin. So this stuff is really the bomb. Seriously, go check it out. So first of all, I'm going to use this and then I'm going to be using the multivitamin power recovery mask from Dermalogica. Um, as you can see, I've used so much of this already, so this stuff is literally the shit. And what this is going to do, just put all the vitamins, put all the moisture back into my skin. Um, it does say you can leave it in for, well, on for like 15 minutes, um, but I'm actually going to leave it on for about 3-4 hours because I should be wearing this all night, but unfortunately I just can't do that. I don't like having stuff on my skin all evening. So instead, I'm just going to leave it on for a long time and before I go to bed, I'm going to take it off and then I'm going to put loads and loads of moisturizer on and then go to sleep in that. Because I don't mind moisturizer, I just can't fall asleep with mask or anything like that on my face. Just feels weird so here we go I'm gonna pop this on my face and I'll show you guys what it looks like and I'm gonna be leaving this on for yes about three four hours because I really want all those vitamins and all that moisture back into my skin it's crucial to have that right now while my skin is healing when I was applying the gel it did tingle a lot but then when I was rubbing the towel on it it was a little bit sensitive and now it's tingling a hell of a lot like it was earlier when I was getting the treatment done so I know it's gonna be a little bit you know sore for a few days but I'm hoping in the next few days it's gonna be so worth it. But to be honest, I thought this was going to be way more painful than it actually was. So I'm really hoping that the results are going to be amazing. So I've woken up this morning feeling quite dry in the face. It's almost like a chalky texture. So it's going to feel like this for a few days until the new skin underneath comes through. So to keep it moisturized, I'm going to be using the Dermalogica Active Moisture. This is a really good moisturizer because it has lemon and cucumber in and it has silk amino acids in. So it really keeps that hydration in your skin. So I'm going to be using this two to three times a day, making sure my face is completely nutty moisturized. And then I think they said tomorrow I'll be able to do a scrub in the morning before I have a photo shoot because today I am not allowed to put any makeup on. So you can't put makeup on the day you have the treatment and you can't put any makeup on really the next day. They do say you can if you really need to, but they really advise to try not to until the following day after that. So tomorrow I do have a photo shoot, so I will make sure I do a nice scrub before moisturize as much as I can and then when I finish the photo shoot, take off the makeup, do another mask and then put more moisturizer on my skin. So it's only been a few days since my laser treatment and my face has been feeling so much more clearer and so much more brighter so they really do live up to the name. So today what I did was use my uh, cleansing gel from Dermalogica, then what I used was their multivitamin scrub and then I used their intensive moisture balance moisturizer. So I'm really trying to get that chalkiness off my face because it really did start being a little chalky yesterday and this morning quite dry. This is because the new skin underneath is trying to push through and get rid of all that dead skin that is on top. So this is where the scrub really comes in. Um, this is a really cool one because it really heats up in your fingers. So when you rub at your skin, you can already feel that it's working so well on your face and it's really taking away all that dead skin. And yeah, this stuff is seriously the best, but I was very gentle with it this time, knowing that my skin is come brand new, you know, it's, I, don't, I didn't want to irritate it too much. I just made sure that I put a lot of moisturizer on my face afterwards. So this is a couple of days into it. I'll let you guys know how I feel after a week. So it's been about a week now since my treatment and I have to say I'm so happy with how it's come out. My skin is feeling so much more smoother. It is not bumpy anymore because I used to have all these bumps here from eating so bad. So I still got some scars still there but the lady explained because they were quite deep scars and deep marks that it's gonna take maybe about three or four sessions to be able to have them completely good. So excited to have a couple more treatments and see how my skin feels after that. With literally just having this one treatment, I already feel such a huge difference. So I'm really excited to see how this comes out. So thank you so much Laser Away for letting me blog this treatment. I had an amazing time. Everyone was so lovely. So if you want to try any more of their treatments, they do have a lot on their online website. So totally check them out. Check them out on their media. And I can't wait for you guys to experience what I have experienced. Because seriously, this is a game changer. And I feel like I don't have to wear as much foundation anymore. Thank you very much. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this.